this is going to help us a lot here. And now you can ask questions, sir. Why we are? What is the use of all all these things? So you go to the industry, especially the paints. You take anything. I am talking industry, either pharmaceutical or laptop manufacturing, mobile manufacturing. In general, I am saying industry. An industry where a product will come out. You you take laptop. How do it will come? By substance only. You take any food items or any physic television, everything. You no, know? everything. What happens? Some material will be there. You no, know? everywhere this calorimeter will be used here. Suppose say I want to construct, I want to have an iron. How do I get that specific iron? By mixing some other materials, it will become alloy. A good example is steel. There, what happens? I'll be using this calorimeter ideas. Pharmaceutical company, food industries. So everything. Uh, What all we purchase objects, that one. There, what when this calorimeter will come into picture. Study of this particular branch of heat and thermodynamics is something very, very important. So here, what happen? We'll be just studying that. If you supply heat to a body, how that body will behave? How that body will behave? That is what we are going to learn it here. And in in turn, what point we are going to understand the changes in the body that we are going to notice. So that will help us to learn the substance much more systematically. You know that's why this particular branch of ethan thermodynamics is brought here. Okay, now let's get into suppose say let's start with a simple thing. Okay, this is the liquid. Two uh, kg of liquid. Let it be and specific heat. Two point five. I'm I'm not writing. Uh, I'll, I'll will do one thing. I'll I'll write it. So initial temperature of this. Let it be T one degree Celsius. This is another liquid. Initial temperature of this. Let it be T two degree Celsius. T one, let it be fifty degrees Celsius. T two, let it be twenty degrees Celsius. M one is equal to say like a two kg. Specific heat two point five calorie per gram per degree Celsius. What about M two? M two, let it be say like a one point five kg. Specific heat of this substance, let it be one point one kg. Let one point five calorie per gram per degree Celsius. I'm going to there's a liquid one. I'm going to mix up. What will be the so when I mix up, what will happen to total mass? Should remain same, no? Two kg plus one kg, three kg. Then I'll I'll do get a mixture. Okay, this is one liquid. Later on we'll see how do we mix up. How it is possible that one? Just just on paper we'll first have analysis. Huh? Okay, there's a mixture. I'll get it. What will be the temperature of this mixture? Is what we are trying to find out here. Okay, let it let let the mixture take some other color. Well, let's assume like that. So there's a mixture. What is the mass of this? M1 plus M2. What will be the temperature of this? So th this is a hot liquid, no? The, so the, there's a hot liquid and there's a warm liquid. So when you add hot liquid to warm liquid, what do you expect the temperature of that? So there's a quite common sense. Huh? I don't know, students. In this chapter you are going to struggle a lot. I'm telling that one because you never notice like if you mix up a hot, like a hot water with a Cold milk. What will happen? You don't know that. You never made observation. 
tomorrow will get into problems no you you are going to cry the reason for that because you you never noticed cool drinks or the pen is a very cool water lap and what we do we will try to make it warm no suppose you take any juice to make it cool water pen will add ice cubes any reason for that because we want in summer water pen definitely we will go for little bit coolness no so these are the types of numericals will be doing and it is very shocking that every year not only you every year there is the same problem huh? every year there is a routine past 20 years i am seeing same scenario <laughs> so after scoldings everything no students then okay okay sir yes yes will change it's happening okay this i think everyone knows like uh, like a milk is there 20 degrees so you are going to take some water and you are going to add up what what will and what is the temperature of water 50 degrees celsius what do you expect final temperature more than 50 if you say more than 50 nobody can help you in this world finish sure when you had hot water to milk warm milk so what can you expect temperature of the mixture here mixture means this to know less than 20 more than 50 Anybody wants to answer? So less than fifty. Less than fifty. There's a common sense, no? Uh, no need of physics also. There's what the numericals will be doing. Huh? So therefore, here uh, now uh, who, who has uh, now look at the temperature. This T will be definitely so. There's a common sense needed. Huh? The temperature of the mixture will be between fifty and twenty. That one. How to calculate the temperature? This one, the entire, the whole chapter is this much only. Sir, you wrote it wrong, sir. The twenty degrees should come this side, and fifty degrees should go okay, there. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Five. This is yeah. No, this should be the range of temperatures. Okay, now look at here. No, uh, who will who will uh, lose it? The liquid one. Who will gain it? The liquid two. So shall I say some sort of heat exchange is occurring between these two? so no principle of calorimetry what is say like eat gained is equal to eat lost so who will gain it the liquid two so how to write it gained m2 s2 final temperature t minus initial temperature t2 will I agree this this is a eat gained Eat lost, so who is going to lose it? M one, S one, final. Eat lost. Eat lost means you should write initial minus final. Eat gain means final minus initial. Please try to. Or or, okay. This let let me so like a means when if a body gains it, final minus initial. If a body loses it. Initial minus final. There's a convention. Let me solve it. I'll, I'll show you one more easiest method. I get this. So this will be the expert temperature of mixture. no sir i'm 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 getting difficult because this, this is the something you are telling that uh, this is the initial and this is the final i'm finding little bit difficult this one so what you can do is you can just take help of energy idea what is energy idea initial energy is how much m1 s1 t1 final energy is how much m1 s1 t same thing you solve this what do you get this is this also you can think but usually i i i do prefer this one to think in this way here because i wanted to know Who has gained it? Who has lost it? So this will be like this. We can find out the temperature of the mixture.
getting the idea now this will be so now the specific heat of a substance it's a very difficult quantity to measure it's not that easy to measure the specific heat of substance not that easy to measure so therefore what i do is like can i bring any method to measure the specific heat of substance or don't try to s here it should be this one the temperature of mixture is what we are finding out the temperature of the mixture is what we are trying to find out here so now uh, if i mix up two liquids if i mix up the two liquids which are at same temperature in that case what shall i write here i, I think t t you are going to write then what do you expect the final temperature should be same then then in that case when when the both when the both the substance they mix up then we'll get the specific heat of effective specific heat of a substance in that case what happen we are going to write it as like a m1 plus m2 this will become scl specific heat capacity will be m1 s1 plus m2 s2 so don't 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 write like m1 plus so if you take this t common no so you are going to get what you are going to get m1 s1 plus m2 2 you cannot write m1 plus m2 i'll take s outside 